I mean, I know, I know it's gonna get better. I do. And you have to, you just, you have to have that faith. All right, thank you. Have a good day. Hey guys. Um I hope everyone is having a blessed day. Um so I'm pretty much in my lunch right now at work and I just kind of want to just talk to you guys because um, I need to talk, <laughs> I need to vent and stuff, or not so much venting, but I feel like, you know, just doing, I know at this point in time, I probably don't, I'm not really talking to anybody, like I don't have followers and stuff, but I still feel like it still helps me. If that makes sense, um, as like an outlet for my emotions. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. But anyways, um, well, there's some good news. So, well, yesterday, first of all, let me start off with yesterday. I tried filming a video for y'all. I tried doing like a little cooking video of what I was making for dinner. But then things happened to where I was going to plan to make dinner for everyone. And then I didn't have to. So then it changed on what I was making. Then I started recording what I was making, but then I didn't even get to finish making it because I ended up having to run some errands, some last minute errands, and, and which I'll tell you about right now in a sec. So then I didn't even finish the video. So I was like, by the time we got home, I, would, I just wanted to eat and, and, you know, and go to sleep and stuff. And I had to put the boys to bed and, and all that stuff. So, um, so that's i'm recording now <laughs> but you're not gonna see the footage from last time sorry um but i do have some good news the good news is that uh, my stepson is staying with us now remember i, I kind of mentioned him once or twice and i said he doesn't really stay with us that much well he came over yesterday and he's staying with us for how long i don't know but he is staying with us and i'm very happy about that because we miss him a lot and um i mean yeah he would see us but as far as like staying at our house he he wouldn't you know so no. it just dropped the camera oh gosh sorry well hopefully it don't fall okay um but yeah he just wouldn't like stay with us he would just come around so i mean and i'm very happy that he is staying with us you know even if it's just for a couple days because um we all missed him my kids love having him around i love having him around my husband especially you know i mean that's his first son so he's actually gonna be turning 17 soon um so that's kind of one of the errands that i had to do yesterday because he has prom this saturday and you know, kids will be kids. They decided last minute to tell us that they needed, you know, that he needed this and that. So I had to take him to the mall to go look for like a shirt, a bow tie and all that. Still got to take him today to go find his jacket because he wants a jacket and renting's expensive. So, I mean, I guess might as well buy him one. So, so I was doing that yesterday. That's why the video didn't happen. But I wanted to come on and like kind of talk to you guys and stuff like I know the last time I did a sit down like this and stuff I was explaining to y'all a little bit of like our current situation and you know the issues we've been having with like my husband's business and stuff I didn't get too much into detail but I mean just that we are having you know problems and financial and and stuff like that um and that you know we are Christian so I was explaining how like I, I didn't know how to explain it to you guys, but God's always provided for us, like money-wise and stuff, when we needed it. And so we put our full faith in Him. I mean, you have to. Every day in life, no matter what you go through, you have to put your full faith in Him because He's not a God that's going to hurt us or wants to see us suffer. He's a God that's going to provide for us, right? And He's a God that's going to take care of us. And everything you go through... Is for a reason um, I mean I thought to get into too much detail 
and I know people have you know uh, different views and stuff which is fine I'm not trying to put push you know my views onto anybody but um, you know the Lord already has your life planned out from birth to death on what you're gonna do so he already knows what's gonna happen so you know when you're going through a tough time yeah it's like a struggle but um he he knows he has no worries because he knows that it's all gonna work itself out and that's the hardest part is to i mean it's it's i mean we fully we're like okay god take the wheel you're in charge of our life you show us the path you want us to go to that is the path we're gonna go you know and where there are going to be times, nothing, you know, there are going to be rough times, you know, and stuff. And that's where, you know, you still have to put your faith in him. And, um, I mean, we're all human and we're all going to get, you know, mixed up in our emotions. We're going to feel these emotions. I mean, just because you put all your faith in God doesn't mean like you're not going to be worried at times or when something happens, you know. But what ma I think what matters is that during those times that are rough that you're still you know seeking God you're still talking to him you're still you know asking for his help and stuff um because it's like the way I, the easiest way to explain it is like it's like a child like when you have a child if you don't have a child you kind of really don't understand but I guess like how your parents probably said this to you when you were younger but like me like my kids like if I knew my kids were going through something tough and they didn't come to me and I found out like days later like you know they were going through this and they didn't come to me like for help or even just to talk like I would be like well why didn't you come to me like I'm your parent you know and stuff like that so that's kind of like how how God is he wants us to go to him and stuff so well, that's what we do that's what we normally do we do it all the time but I mean I'm not I mean like I said we're still human we still get into our emotions and yesterday yesterday not too much yesterday wasn't i mean too too rough but this morning or well today so far today has been kind of rough and not so much for me which is surprising because i'm usually the one with the high anxiety that's stressing out all that stuff but lately it's it's been like you know my husband and stuff and and i just you know it's it's worrying i mean it's not worrying but it's, it's, I just want the best. I don't like, you know, you, when you see a significant other stressing and all that stuff, I mean, you don't want that for them. You know, I don't want him to worry. I don't want him to be depressed. I don't want him to be sad. I know it's just a season he's going through and I know he knows, like he knows what's going on and I tell him and you know, you, know, you pray and stuff and he knows, he knows what he needs to do we can't help the fact of the way we feel you know so he's just kind of going through a time right now where he's just today he was very frustrated and flustered and and he even said himself he's like it's not even that bad he's like I'm just I'm tired and I'm just you know it just feels like one thing right after another right now and his phone won't stop going off and and then of course, yeah, because of our living situation right now that we are, you know, struggling a little bit, I guess, or not how comfortable as we used to be money-wise, it's getting to him. And I understand, I totally get it. And it's where it's hard for me is because like, like I said, I don't want him to feel that way. And I don't know how to help him, how to help him. I just, sometimes I don't like, yes, I can, I give him these words of encouragement and I tell him he's doing great you know I try I try to uplift him as much as he can I try to make him see the other side and see the accomplishments because I, I am very firm on like one of those like you need to remember your accomplishments and how far you've come and stuff like that so I try to remember remind him of all that stuff but I feel like I can only do so much as a female and as a significant other I mean yes I'm sure my words are important and what I say to him is important has an impact on him but I feel like when it comes to like men like it you know like men and women are different and so I feel like when it comes to how I can relate to him on a certain level I can't you know 
like with I mean yes I have that need to provide and all that stuff but I feel like for men it's it's just a natural instinct in them and when they feel like even though we're doing good I guess to him he feels like he's not providing for us you know what I mean even though I can tell him all the time like well you're doing fine it's just not something I can understand it's only something that another man could probably understand you know and talk to him about so and I mean there's a lot of me of the guys from the church that are he's good friends with that reach out to him and you know they understand which I'm very grateful for that we have that support and people who understand have been through you know tough times and can relate to him on, on a different level that I can't but it's just rough and uh, today's a, a rough day and it's just, you know it just it gets I mean it gets to me sometimes you know but I mean I hang in there <laughs> I mean I know I know it's gonna get better I do and you have to you just you have to have that faith you have to have that faith that it is gonna get better and I know it will we're not you know nobody goes through a season like this for the rest of their life things get better I mean we're working towards it and stuff it's just sometimes you know sometimes it is you know I mean I have my emotions too you know so um I just wanted to talk to you guys and thought that maybe talking would kind of make me feel a little bit better and I know it will um and I want to let you guys know what's going on too I mean we want to be totally transparent and everything I mean that's why we started this we want to invite people into our lives and you know I know it's it's a risk and I know um it's a lot but I mean we you know we we want this and I just want to be completely honest and but we're I mean I know it'll be okay it's just one of those days you know one of those days where you're like and I think for me it's just one of those days where I'm like I don't know how to help him and so I feel like I don't know what to do I'm like what do I do like I wish I could just scoop it all like how you like your children like you wish you could just scoop it all up and take it away but that's that doesn't help either because then you don't we don't learn how to grow and how to handle these situations for when it happens in the future but um but yeah I mean it'll be okay I mean we'll it's we've been through tough times before and we've come out okay it's just one of those days that's all it is it's just one of those days I just hope it doesn't stay as one of those days because I am a firm believer that we we are in control and we can you know of what we can control at least and we can turn it around even if it's something small you know as like having a dinner together that's peaceful and nice and stuff like spending time together so um but yeah it's just one of those days you guys <laughs> so I'm sorry I did not do the cooking video in the future I will do one <laughs> if that is something you want to see but I just kind of wanted to explain to y'all what's going on but like I said on the upside we have our stepson or well his son my stepson and I'm very happy for that so that is you know a positive like that is that is awesome I'm so happy and I hope he comes around to stay with us more often like I said he has he has his own room so I mean we've never we haven't changed it or nothing it's still there um I had to pick up what you saw earlier. I had to pick up medication for Christian at Walmart. Um, he had been having a cough for a while. He started off with like a low grade fever and he like threw up a couple times the first two days. And I don't even know if that's related. I guess it is because I guess it is a symptom. But anyways, last night I tried doing like the Teladoc. I don't know if y'all have ever heard of that, but it's like um, if your insurance covers it, which my insurance does, you kind of can do like a video phone call with a doctor so I tried doing that last night and but because he couldn't and I knew this was gonna happen because he couldn't specifically test him for strep I mean he wasn't gonna be able to tell me yes he has strep or anything so today my husband this morning took him to the urgent care and yeah sure enough he's got strep throat which means Kason's probably gonna get strep throat which I think I have it because my throat had been hurting. Today is actually pretty good, but the past two days my throat my throat had been hurting. I have some antibiotics, so I'm probably just gonna take those and see if that you know 
clears it up. But I had to pick him up antibiotics and he has a cough. So um, they gave him cough medicine too. So hopefully he can start getting better because it just, it hurts me when they can't sleep. My, like, I get it, kids get sick. But it hurts me when they when they can't sleep because they're coughing so much. And I'm like, oh, I know how frustrating it is when you can't sleep and you just want to rest and stuff. Like, imagine them, the little ones, you know. So, so I'm ready for him to get better. I really hope Kaysen doesn't get it. But, you know, if you have kids, then you know. It's going to go down the line, man. <laughs> um, yeah, so I just want to talk to y'all, give y'all an update and um, maybe show y'all a little bit afterwards if I have time, like I said, there's a lot going on right now and then, um, and then, well, we have to take my steps and to go buy a jacket for prom. I hope we can see them for prom. I really want to. I hope we can see them and take pictures. I have to ask them, I don't even know where they're going. But um, it's almost the end of my lunch. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.